Happy Wednesday, church. I am coming from you here on my deck on this beautiful Wednesday morning, and I just wanted to touch base with you and let you all know I miss you, and I wish we were gathering in our sanctuary this week for Holy Week, but we're not. But we're still going to connect in spirit and through technology. Um, tomorrow night for Monday, Thursday at 7 p.m., we will have a special Zoom worship service. Our elders and Rachel Eve will help lead this worship time. And I really hope that you're able to connect in. If you know someone who does not have the technology to do so, give them a call and let them listen through your phone and be a part of this worship with us. Collect together the things that you're going to need, a candle, um, some grape juice or some wine or water and bread and a cup. And we will remember Jesus' last supper with his disciples and his crucifixion. I also want to remind you that on Easter Sunday, we will have a grand and glorious celebration. There are many people behind the scenes working to get put together an Easter celebration like none other than we've had before. Rachel Eve and the choir are working hard on putting together a virtual choir. And there are our children who are sending in videos that will be used as well. So make sure that you tune in. It will be posted on our church website on Saturdays at some point, and it will be on Facebook, and we will have Facebook Live Easter Celebration at 1030. I just wanted to touch base with you again and say how much I miss you. I'm praying for each of you, and we are together in God and in Jesus Christ. I want to close with the devotion that I read this morning that touched my heart. You may have seen it as well on Facebook, so if you have, share it out because it does celebrate who we are in this unique time. It is called How the Virus Stole Easter by Christy Bator with a nod to Dr. Seuss. Twas late in 2019 when the virus began, bringing chaos and fear to all people, each land. People were sick, hospitals were full, doctors overwhelmed, no one in school. As winter gave way to the promise of spring, the virus raised on, touching peasant and king. People hid in their homes from the enemy unseen. They YouTubed and Zoomed, social distanced and cleaned. April approached and churches were closed. There won't be an Easter, the world supposed. There won't be church services and egg hunts are out. No reason for new dresses when we can't go about. Holy Week started as bleak as the rest. The world was focused on masks and tests. Easter can't happen this year, it proclaimed. Online and at home, it just won't be the same. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, the days came and went. The virus pressed on. It would just not relent. The world woke Sunday and nothing had changed. The virus still menaced. The people estranged. They're just waking up. We know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. And then all the saints will all cry, boo-hoo. That noise said the world will something be that noise said the world will be something to hear, so it paused and the world put a hand to its ear, and it did a sound coming through all the skies. It started down low, then started to rise. But the sound wasn't depressed. Why this sound was triumphant. It couldn't be so, but it grew with abundance. The world stared around, popping its eyes. Then it shook. What it saw was a shocking surprise. Every saint in every nation, the tall and the small, was celebrating Jesus in spite of it all. It hadn't stopped Easter from coming. It came. Somehow or another, it came just the same. And the world, with its life quite struck in quarantine, stood puzzling and puzzling. Just how can it be? It came without bonnets, it came without bunnies, it came without eggs, cantatas, or money. Then the world thought of something it hadn't before. Maybe Easter, it thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Easter, perhaps, is a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, the story's not done. What will you do 
Will you share with that one or two or more people needing hope in this night? Will you share the source of your life in this fight? The churches are empty, but so is the tomb. And Jesus is victor over death, doom, and gloom. So this year at Easter, let this be our prayer. As the virus still rages all around everywhere. May the world see hope when it looks at God's people. May the world see the church, not a building or steeple. May the world find joy in the time of dejection. May 2020 be known as the year of survival. But not only that, let's start a revival. Amen. Happy Wednesday, and I look forward to gathering with you in the days ahead on Monday, Thursday, and on Easter Sunday. God bless. I love you all.